Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home 2510, 2410, and 2300 series thermostat. Now, this the video itself is going to be covering the full programming of the device. I also have a separate video going over the manual override operation if you were to want to do that instead. But let's get into the full programming of the device. Do you want to be in either heating or cooling? As you can see here, so cooling to the to the right, heating is to the left. You're going to program each mode. So you'll do it once for heating and then you'll go over to cooling and program your cooling as well. You also have the fan button here or switch. Now you want to leave that in auto. If you go to, to the on position, which is to the right, it's going to keep your fan on no matter if the heating or cooling is in operation. So this is something you want to do if you want to circulate the, the air in your house. Go ahead and turn that on, but remember to come here and turn it back to auto so it can automatically function with the heating or cooling and not stay on permanently. All right, so now let's fully program this device. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and hit set. Now it's gonna ask you to set your time. Very important in order for this thing to operate um, for each period of the day properly. So go ahead and adjust your time using the up and down key. You're going to use these two for all the adjustments on here. Now set your time, and then once you're happy with that, hit it one more time, and it's going to ask you to set your day. As you can see, Monday is flashing. Let's go ahead and cycle through that and set your day, okay? So it is Saturday, and then hit set one more time, and it's going to cycle through there. So set button will cycle through everything that has to be completed here. As you can see, it's going to be have a time, and then it's going to have a temperature, and then over here at the bottom, it's going to say the time period of the day. So you're going to have wake, leave, return, and sleep. Four periods of the day, seven days a week. So you're going to have to go ahead and 28 times, actually more than that, 28 times two uh, to, to actually... Um, program this unit. So I know it's painful, but it has to be done to, to operate this thermostat correctly. That way you basically can set it and forget it and walk away and uh, not worry about the temperature in your home. So let's continue here. Let's just cycle through the, everything. You know, like I said, use the up and down arrow to set your temperature accordingly to whatever you want. Same thing with the time. So use your up and down arrow. So you're going to have to figure out what you want as a starting time for each time period. That's something to consider. I know it takes a lot of effort to, to think about this and to complete it and to go through and follow through, but I'm telling you, once you set this thing up, it actually is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So keep on going, set this thing up, cycle through it, do all your settings for each period of the day. And then when you're done, it's gonna show you the time again. So I'm just gonna keep on going and show you <laughs> what it looks like. Okay, so there, we're done. So it went back to the time, so we don't need to set that anymore, so we're all set. We're good to go now. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and hit that run button to get back to the main screen. Now we're all set. It went ahead and saved all the settings we just did. And we're good to go. We can run this thing and it's gonna run from its program. So if you wanted to manually override, uh, go ahead and watch my other video. It will cover manual override, like a temporary override, as well as a permanent override. But right there, I just showed you how to fully program it. And this is the best use of this device. Um, I highly recommend it. And um, I also have other videos covering factory reset as well as the, me the setup menu on it. So that's also very helpful. But that there is the, showing you guys how to fully program this thing and not just kind of like use it in a very basic way. It actually is pretty powerful. I've made a Excel spreadsheet because I have multiple thermostats in my house to help me keep track and allows me to reference back later on uh, what each temperature in, is for each set point of the day for each thermostat. So you guys can come up with a way how you like to, to keep track of it. I happen to use an Excel spreadsheet. It's just the easiest for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. 
And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.